हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ राजेंद्र चौधरी वेलकम आवर यूट्यूब चैनल जे आई एन सी ब्राइट फ्यूचर स्कूल फ्रॉम लोहावट एंड जॉइन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड सब्सक्राइब इट एंड शेयर इट आवर योर फ्रेंड्स सो वी आर टेकिंग आवर टॉपिक एंड कंटिन्यू अबाउट द डेफिनेशन फैक्ट्राइजेशन ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन एंड पोलिनोमियल एंड वी आर यूजिंग द आइडेंटिटी एंड हाउ the identity are helpful for the factorization in polynomial so today we are taking our middle term splitting join us you join us you youtube channel jinc bright future school all of you welcome again factorization with the help of algebraic expressions we are taking the factorizations with the help of algebraic identities we using already positive identity a plus b all square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square negative identity a minus b all square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square and square of the difference of two term a square minus b square equal to sum of the first and second term and A difference of the first and second term a square minus b square equal to a plus b and a minus b. Now after that we are taking the how to split the middle term and factorize the given polynomial. Factorize of the trinomial x square plus m x plus n by the splitting of middle term or by using the identity x square plus a plus b bracket x plus a b equal to x plus a. x plus b <coughs> now question is y square plus 6 y plus 8 y square plus 6 y plus 8 and how are this one is a polynomial and this one is the first term first term is a perfect square value y square is a perfect square and 8 8 is not a perfect square so we can't use the identity and we take the middle term we take the middle term y square plus 6y plus 8 and in this y square plus 6y plus 8 here is first term here is first term and here is the third term we are taking the first term y square multiply the third term y square we are the using product of first and third first is y square and after that we are taking third we get 8y square we get 8y square and here is the middle term here is the middle term and splitting the middle terms splitting the middle term here is the middle term 6y 6y and splitting part of 6 is the 6 is equal to 6 plus 0 we taking the positive symbol here is the plus here is the plus then 6 is equal to 5 One six equal to four two six equal to three three six equal to and many more types. But this one is plus. This one is plus. This one is plus. These are the part of six and six is equal to six plus zero five plus one four plus two three plus three. And here is the product of this. Six multiply zero, five multiply one, four multiply two, and three multiply three. Is equal to six multiply zero, we get zero. Five multiply one, we get five. Four multiply two, we get eight, and this one is get nine. so first 
part, second part, third part, and fourth part. We are not taking first, not taking second, not taking third, and in this we are taking the we are taking four plus two. Four plus two satisfy the our given condition is eight. Satisfy the our given condition is four multiply two. We get eight and four plus two we get six. Four plus two we get six and four multiply two we get eight. So both conditions are satisfying the uh, splitting part of six. Four plus two is six and four multiply two is eight. So we can write this. Why is eight? Write down as it is y square. Eight is write down as it is 8 and here is the splitting part of 6 y is 4 y plus 2 y and between the symbol plus. Now this one is the first and second term we are taking y common y plus 4. Here is taking y and here is y then here is left of y and here is 4 this one is now another one is we are taking 2 plus 2 here is the 4 multiply 2 this one is the common this one is the common and left of y plus and left of the 4 this is the factor of given for this y plus 4 and here is the y and here is the plus 2. So our factor is y plus 4 and y plus 2. This is the factor of the y square plus 6y plus 8. y square plus 6y plus 8. And this one is the method how to factorize the, how to take the middle terms factor and middle terms part. We are many more parts. 6 plus 0, 5 plus 1, 4 plus 2, 3 plus 3. And we are taking the product 6 multiply 0, 0. 5 multiply 1, 5. 4 multiply 2, 8. 3 multiply 3, 9. Here is our required condition. 8. And here is 6. Here is 6. So both the conditions are satisfied in given the expression y square plus 6y plus 8 and this one is middle term middle term is the factorized in this and 8 write down as it is y square write down as it is and we are taking this common and we are taking in this common too and this one this one and our required answer y plus 4 and y plus 6 Thank you, Kara sir. Good evening. Now we discuss here is the polynomial y square plus 6y plus 8 and we solve it by a tricky method. Here is 6. Here is the 6 and 6 is write down in we get 4 and 2. 4 and 2. So, we are taking 4 and 2 and here is y are 2 times. y are 2 times then first factor y is y plus 4 and y plus 2. This one is the tricky solution of the polynomial. y plus 4, y plus 2. Only we take the mid term. Mid term is 6y and according to condition we are splitting part and using plus 4 and plus 2 then y plus 4 y plus 2 is our required factor of the given polynomial thank you sir join us our youtube channel Next question, factorization of the x square minus 7x plus 12. Here is the 
plus 12, then we use the splitting part of midterm are adding. Here is the plus, and we are taking the mid middle term part. Middle term part are adding. Middle term part are adding. Why? Because this symbol, this symbol, this symbol is the define the middle term is subtracting and middle term is adding. This symbol, symbol of the constant term, symbol of the constant term symbol, constant term symbol. Constant term symbol is the how to middle term is add and subtract only two ways add and subtraction middle term is the adding and subtracting if the constant term have the plus then adding and the constant term have the negative symbol then subtracting which one is greater which one is the uh less it is depend on the middle term symbol so we are taking many more types of the now here is x square minus 7x plus 12 and here is the x square minus 7x plus 12 and here is one first term and third term First term is x square. First term is x square. Third term is plus 12. And the product of the first term multiply third term. x square multiply 12. We get equal to 12 x square. 12 x square. The product of first and third term is the 12 x square 12x square we are taking the product of first term x square and third term of plus 12 is equal to x square multiply 12 12 then we get 12x square now our middle term is minus 7 our middle term this one is the middle term middle term and we are taking the middle term splitting part and depend on our condition first product third minus 7 minus 7 is write down is equal to minus 7 plus 0 we are taking the addition why because here is the plus here is the plus then we add we add constant terms symbol is the positive then we taking the addition here is minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 and we are take infinite splitting part of the minus 7 but minus 7 minus 6 minus 1 minus 5 minus 2 minus 4 minus 3 and minus 3 minus 4 this product minus 7 multiply 0 minus 7 multiply 0 we get the 0 we get the 0 and this product minus 6 multiply minus 1 plus 6 and here is the product minus 5 multiply minus 2 we get plus 10 and here is minus 4 multiply minus 3 we get product plus 12 here is product minus 3 multiply minus 4 plus 12 and minus 7 multiply 0 0 
so we are taking the many more the terms this one is the first minus 7 plus 0 we get minus 7 but product minus 7 multiply 0 we get 0 minus 7 minus 6 minus 1 is we get minus 7 product of minus 6 multiply minus 1 is equal to plus 6 minus 7 equal to minus 5 minus 2 equal to minus 5 multiply minus 2 plus 10 and minus 7 minus 4 minus 3 and product of minus 4 minus 3 we get plus 2 here is the same but order change this one is the splitting part of the middle term and satisfy our condition this one is the splitting part of the middle term and satisfy our given condition we get the product of 12 we get the product of 12 and we are adding minus 3 and minus 4 minus 3 minus 3 and minus 4 we get 7 minus 4 and minus 3 we get minus 7 and their product is plus 12 product minus 3 multiply minus 4 minus 4 multiply minus 3 this is the product and both conditions are the satisfy the minus 3 multiply minus 4 equal to minus 4 multiply minus 3 we get plus 12 this one this one now here is x square here is the x square write down as it is here is the 12 write down as it is and minus 7 we are taking minus 7 minus 4x minus 3x and plus comparing and taking group of first and second term after that third and fourth term after that third and fourth term and here is we are taking x common x minus 4 and we are taking 3 and 12 is the this time and minus 3 is taking then here is x and this symbol is convert in negative and we are x minus 4 x minus 4 and this one is x and this one is minus 3 so our required answer is the x minus 3 and x minus 4 Now we solve it by tricky x square minus 7x plus 12. How to solve in one second? Here is midterm minus 7. Here is midterm minus 7. Minus 7 write down in minus 4 and minus 3. Minus 4 and minus 3. Then our required answer is the this one is x two times then x then x and we take minus four and we take minus three so these are the tricky solution these are the tricky solution we solve it in one second without any calculation without any confusion only we are taking midterm splitting part midterm and x is taking two times, one time, two times, and midterm, midterm. 
वायट्रिक सोल्यूशन ऑफ जॉइन अस यूट्यूब चैनल जे आई एन सी ब्राइट फ्यूचर स्कूल लोहावट जे आई एन सी ब्राइट फ्यूचर स्कूल लोहावट फैक्टराइजेशन इज कंटिन्यू एंड गोइंग अप नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव वाई प्लस सिक्स वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव वाई प्लस सिक्स एंड फर्स्ट टर्म इज दी वाई स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव वाई प्लस सिक्स एंड फर्स्ट इज First is the y square, and third is the six. Then we taking, then we taking the product of first multiply third. First multiply third, and first is y square, and multiply six. Then we get six y square. Then we six y square. We multiplying first, multiply third y square, multiply six, then we get six y square. Then we get six y square. Now we are taking middle term. Here is middle term. Middle term is plus five. Middle term is plus five, and splitting part are many more. And splitting of plus five, plus five, plus five, plus five. Five, four, three, two, zero, one, two, three. Plus 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 equal to equal to equal to equal to. This is the splitting of the middle term five. Five plus zero, four plus one, three plus two, two plus three, and we check the product of first. Here is product of. We get product five multiply zero is equal to zero. Five four multiply one equal to four. Three multiply two equal to six, and two multiply equal to six. Here is satisfy our condition. This is splitting part. Here is. This is splitting part. This one is not satisfy our condition because product of zero product is four. This one is and product here is six and six. Plus five, five plus zero, plus five four plus one, plus five three plus two, plus five two plus three, and this condition satisfy our both condition. Sum of the splitting of five and product of the splitting part six. Here is the six. Now this one five write down. This one five. Write down in two y plus three y two y plus three y, and this one is write down as it is y square, and this one is six as it is write down. Here is taking both are two. Here is taking last one of two, and in first one first and second y square and y. Then we take y common left of y and plus two. Here is three 
plus 3 and y plus 2. 6 write down the 3 and 2. 3 and 2. So, this one is the factor. This one is common binomial and y plus 2 and left of y and plus 3. This is the required factor of y plus 2, y plus 3 of the polynomial y square plus 5y plus 6. Now, tricky solution. y square plus 5y plus 6 and middle term is 5. Middle term is 5. Then we write 5, 3 and 2. 3 and 2. So, we get 3 and 2. y is 2 times y, y. Plus, plus, this one is the tricky factor of given polynomial. This is the tricky factor. y plus 3 and y plus 2 are the required factor of given polynomial. And in this tricky solution, we solve it one in one second. Only we taking midterm splitting up part. 5y, 3 and 2. 3 and 2. Only this one. 3, 2, write down 3, write down 2, and y is 1 time, and y is 1 time. Next question. Same topic, continue splitting apart and our question y square minus 9y minus 22 here is constant term symbol negative here is constant term symbol constant term symbol means negative then we are subtracting of subtracting the middle term this one is the middle term 9y. 9y is the middle term and subtracting. <coughs> y square minus 9y minus 22. This one is first term and third term. We are taking the product of first term. First term is y square and third term is then our product is minus 22 y square. Minus 22 y square. And this one is the product of first and third equal to. First multiply third equal to y square multiply minus 22 equal to minus 22 y square. First multiply third is equal to y square. Now 
वाई स्क्वायर फर्स्ट मल्टीप्लाई थ्री नाउ वी टेकिंग दी मिडल टर्म हियर इज मिडल टर्म हियर इज मिडल टर्म इज माइनस नाइन माइनस नाइन इज मिडल टर्म एंड स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ माइनस नाइन माइनस नाइन माइनस नाइन माइनस नाइन माइनस नाइन माइनस नाइन इन फाइन इन फाइन वी आर टेकिंग स्प्लिटिंग पार्ट इन फाइन इक्वल इक्वल हियर इज द माइनस सिंबल मीन्स वी आर सब ट्रैक्टिंग बट वी टेकिंग द स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ ऑफ माइनस नाइन विच वन इज ग्रेटर एंड विच वन इज लेस माइनस नाइन write down minus the plus 0 minus 9 write down minus 12 plus 3 minus 11 plus 2 minus 10 plus 1 minus 9 plus 0 many more part of minus 9 are taking here and product of here is 0 we get product minus 9 multiply 0 we get 0 minus 12 multiply plus 3 we get minus 36 and here is product minus 11 multiply plus 2 minus 22 Here is product minus ten multiply plus one. Here is minus ten, and here is another one zero. This condition is satisfied. This condition. This one is the satisfied condition of the our given polynomial. Minus nine equal to minus eleven plus two, and product of minus eleven multiply plus two, we get minus twenty two, and minus twenty two our required product of first term and third term. This is not taken. This is not taken. This is not taken. This is and here. we are taking infinite splitting part of minus 9 here is y square write down as it is and here minus 22 write down as it is minus 22 and y square this one is minus 9 This one is minus nine and minus nine. Write down in minus eleven y plus two y. We are taking common. We are taking the common. Taking first y, then y minus eleven. We are taking two here plus two. Y minus eleven. This one, this one are taking outside and y plus two. Thank you. Join our YouTube channel, JINC Bright Future School. Please join us and subscribe. Now we are taking the factorization of the polynomial by using the middle term splitting part.
Now we solve it by tricking. y square minus 9y minus 22 and middle term is minus 9 middle term is minus 9 so we write minus 9 in minus 11 plus 2 minus 11 plus 2 so our required answer we are get already minus 11 plus 2 y 2 times first second close this is the tricky solution we get in one minute y minus 11 y plus 2 for competitive exam for competitive exam in another Now we continue the division of algebraic expression we are taking in previous session multiply, addition, subtraction, factorization all are completely solved and now topic related to division how to divide a expression. Division of monomial by a monomial. Monomial means one term. We have one term expression. We have one term expression. This one is also one term expression. Monomial to monomial. One term divided by one term. And our question is first twenty fifty four x power four is monomial and by nine x cube is a monomial. Nine x cube monomial. In this monomial we have the one term and this one is the divided. This one is the divided and this one is the divisor. So we divide it 54 x power 4 divide 9 x cube. 9 x cube. This is the Dividend and this is the divisor. Dividend and divisor. And 50 for x power for 9 x cube. Here is 9 ones are 9 and 9 6 are 54 and these exponents these exponents are already solved x power 4 x power 4 means x multiply x multiply x multiply x and divide by x multiply x and multiply x cancel this x, this x. One time, one time. One time and one time. Left is only x. So our x cube and x power 4, we are taking one power of x. And here is the one jump and six jump. Six x power 1 upon 
and required answer is 6x. Required answer is 6x. So, this one is the 54x power 4 divided by 9x cube. And this one is the dividend and this one is the divisor. And we can say that it is a uh, numerator and it is a denominator. 9 1s are 9 and 9 6 are 54. And this one is x cube, this one is x power 4. We use the exponent law, solve it then and we are taking the cancel. x one time, two time, three time, four time. x one time, two time, three time. And we cancel it. First, second and third. And remaining here, remaining here only 1x. Remaining here only 1x and write down the power of 1 and here the in denominator we get 1 and our required answer is 6x. Our required answer is 6x. This is the division of the monomial by a monomial. Division monomial by monomial. Next question. Here is the monomial and this one is monomial. Now, 25. 25 is a number and this is the x cube, y cube, z cube divided by minus 15 x y z x y z and here is the 25 x cube y cube z cube and minus 15 x y z this one is the dividend this one is the dividend this one is the divisor This one is the numerator, numerator, and this one is the denominator, denominator, denominator also known as dividend, 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 and device. <coughs> Now we are, this is the 25 and this one is the x cube, y cube and z cube. Here is the x cube. x cube write down n x, 2 x, 3 x. And y cube, y cube write down y, y multiply y. And z, Three times Z, Z, and Z. This is the X, X, and X. This is the Y, Y, and Y. And how many times here Y in denominator? Uh, only one time. Only one time. This one is only one time. Now we write one time. This only one time. This only one time. And here is the 25. And 25 write down 5 multiply 5. And here is minus 1, 3 multiply 5. So, we are taking the factor of dividend and we are taking the factor of the divisor and our divisor known as the denominator and our numerator known as the divider. This one. We are taking the prime factor of the dividend and divisor. Now cancel. 5, 1's are 5. Here is x. 1 x 
y one ja y here is z one ja z now left of this and this and minus one we are taking five upon three five upon three and x one mul and one two times so x square y and y y square and z and z z square this is the required division Thank you. This is the device binomial to binomial. Binomial by bin monomial, sorry. Monomial to monomial. In monomial, we have one term as a dividend and as a divisor, one term. This is the monomial and known as the divided, divided. This is the monomial known as divisor. And this one is the numerator. This one is the denominator. Denominator. One is divided numerator and one is divided denominator. Now we use this uh, six x cube y square z divided by three x square y z. Three x square y z. Now, 6x cube y square z square, then divide, divide by 3x square y z. And here is the uh, x, 1, 2, 3, and here is y, 1, 2, 3, and z is 1, 2, 3. and x two times one and two y is one time z is one time and six and multiply three this three ones are three and three two ja six x and x x and x y and y and z and z here is the left portion of two x y z and here is no one in denominator only one only one so completely divisible by and q cent is the two x y z two x y z is the our required q cent of the divide and in this next question monomial by monomial and 15 
monomial, 3xy monomial. Monomial means one term, one term, only one term. And this is only one term. Here is the monomial and known as the divided. Divided. Here is the divisor. One monomial is known as dividend and another monomial is known as divisor and dividend also write down in numerator numerator and this one is denominator this one is denominator we can say that one is new monomial numerator one is monomial as denominator this one is numerator this one is denominator now fifteen x cube x power four y power four y power four divide 3xy 3xy fifteen x cube y power four and three xy three xy both are positive both are monomials positive one is numerator one is denominator one is dividend one is divisor we are getting breaking the numerator this one is prime factor of the x x and x y write down four times one two three and four because y exponent is four three three x one time y one time this one is the one three ones are three x ones are x y ones are y now left portion five x multiply x x is square y multiply y multiply y y cube and one so our required answer y x square y cube thank you thank you join our youtube channel divided numerator divisor denominator both are monomial and both monomial have positive symbol this one is the monomial N, this one is the monomial D, and in monomial we have one term, only one term, this one, this one, and this is the, this one is also explained, and here is the divide in simple way, here is the divide in simple way, here is what, here is one and we ignore the one we ignore the one now welcome our jinc bright future school lohavat in our school first to eight english medium uh, rbsc affiliation in our school, features are available, personal attention on each and every student. If any student weak in 
any subject then we do extra effort improve the students according to mind and observe this activity students Montessori method, smart classes, sports yoga room, dance music, art craft, library, air pool, transport facility, computer lab, first class start, science lab, co-curriculum activity, physical education, RBSC auditorium, CCTV lift, and VR math, learn with fun. Math learn with fun. How to learn math with fun? And we are going in this method. Math learn with fun. In our school, we are taking the activity lab of the mathematics. Our school building, GINC, Lower uh, Reception, Reception, Auditorium, Live Camera, Live Function. Play groups, smart classes, comfortable seating, 30 students, colorful classes, and other classes for comfortable library, extra reading room. We have extra reading room. Computer lab, first class two is starting. Indoor games, Ludo, Carom, table tennis, badminton, skating, so join our YouTube channel GINC Bright Future School Lohawat and welcome again our YouTube channel. Now we continue our topic, GINC, Bright Future School. Join our YouTube channel. Now we start our topic, Division of Binomial. What is the binomial? In expression, we have two terms. In expression, we have two terms. One is a variable, another one is a constant. And we have both are the constant. So, binomial means, binomial means two, two terms. And two terms means 2x plus 5, 3x plus 4y, vt, CT, VT, VT. <clears throat> In binomial, we have variable term and constant term, and both are the variable term. Both are variable term, it means VT. And one is variable term and one is constant term, VT, CT. But we have two terms. We have Two terms. So this is the binomial. And in monomial, in monomial we have one term. One term. And one term is one term is only variable term. Vt. Variable term. So division of binomial by monomial of type of A plus C. A plus B divide by c and we get a upon c plus b upon c so we continue our topic 
the division of binomial by monomial or division of binomial by monomial thank you all of and join our youtube channel please like and subscribe and share your friends thank you